morning, good afternoon and good evening. It's Lee from Magnetic North Adventures and I'm already on the ferry. Red Jet Ferry and uh, heading over to West Hills, Isle of Wight. And uh, weather's looking good. Uh, looking forward to it. It's had an early start. A few delays with buses but made it so wish me luck everybody I'm about to start the 71 mile coastal walk so here we go so because it is a high speed ferry this is basically all you go see so I won't be filming anymore until I get to the other side on the island so here we go so I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Scott Adams and uh, I met him at the pirate event the other day and uh, 3d printing laser cutting engraving jewelry engraving promotional items personalized gifts this is his company so special shout out to you and uh, this is who made the wooden pirate flags that I've got which are also featured so just got myself a few little souvenirs this one made out of wood nicely painted um, it would have been a magnet but I asked for it not to be on that one and then the skull and bones now these are going to be part of the giveaway that I will be drawing from all the names of all the people that donate to the deaf and hard of hearing charity uh, for the walk that I'll be doing on the Isle of Wight. And this one is a little fridge magnet, They're well made by local craftspeople. Right, so we've made it onto the island the Isle of Wight and uh, just got off the red jet and uh, I'll just show you where we are so you've got a little bit of a harbour and uh, I've started seeing these today local artworks the lighthouses and just here got a lovely early old crane there we go and there's the maker's plaque beautiful structure and over there that's mainland England over there in the far distance. So, could get on with it. Mermaid Tavern here. So, this is the arbor area. This is the path where it starts. So I'll be going down here. This is the start of the walk, so here we go folks. I'll film bits and pieces along the way and uh, we'll just go from there. So, first thing we come across, a wall of cannons. There we go. It's a bit different. Yep. And you've got another red funnel ferry coming in. I used the jet, not that one. I came in over that way. Yep, beautiful brass cannons you got another one up there as well 
signal cannons. So, this is the Isle of Wight coastal path. Got a lovely old church up there as well. As you can see, it's a stony beach. So, that's what's there. And uh, got an information board over here for you. There we go. That's so you can see where we are. It's a little bit of history. There we are, right the way back. 400,000 years. So yep, America's Cup race took place around the Isle of Wight from Cowles, 1851. And uh, we also had early seaplanes based over that way. And you got people swimming as well. So we've got another one of these painted lighthouses. This one, got pirates on this one, it's a pirate's life for me, so there we go. That's a really good one, and there you can hear the sea, the English Channel crashing in. Got the old lion statues, the guardians of the island. I love this sound. I love the smell. I really do hope I can film a lot more for you as I go around. Got an abandoned building over here as well. Uh, there's no access point though. But I'd love to have had a look around that. So the sea is starting to go out. Got here just the right time. Just come all the way up here, you can see the seaweed. Egypt, escapade, esplanade. Again, big lions. of the area right you've got this beacon up here as well I'm going to keep my coat on because it is a little bit cloudy um, but yeah so all this beach there is fossils everywhere along this coastline got a Lovely old building there. Don't know what it is. Very fancy. There's the beacon. So there we are. There's the official sign of the coastal footpath. Going this way. There we are, we're at Gernard. So that's the first bit done. We'll keep going. So path got diverted. Now coming along back up to the sea again and this is the site that we've got. Um, currently six and a half miles in. There we go. So just come down to a tiny bit of foreshore and go have a look at this area and then uh, move all the way down there and it, where it goes back inland so just over there you've got some iron remains probably part of a boat but you can see we've actually got sand small pebbles 
it's beautiful. Just enjoying walking along here. See if I can find anything along the way. Miles and miles of roads. Not a lot to see uh, due to all the diversions and not actually being on the real coast path itself due to landslips. So there's this long lane, I'm taking this one. Now, unfortunately, 18 miles in. And uh, I'm not good, not good at all. Basically, my back isn't coping and uh, I've decided for the safety, unfortunately, I am unable to push on. I cannot complete 71 miles, but by the time I've actually got back into um, the main roads again and back to a, a town uh, where I can get help if I need to, oh, oh, push through that pain barrier. Uh, basically, I can get help. So if I pushed on and I kept going and going and going, I'm putting myself into further danger. Um, I'm a bit upset. I, I thought I could do it. I can't. So I'm really sorry, folks. Really, really sorry. Try my hardest. And uh, now I'm just trying to push on, get to somewhere that's safe and uh, if needs must, I've still got all my camping equipment, I can camp if I need to. Um, not sure where I am at the minute, see we've got fields. I've just come down this path. It looks like a bit clearer over here. So I'll just go this way and just hope for the best that I actually get back. Right, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It does appear to go through there. But, uh, I think I'm going to stick to the side path. Now I have got a return um, ferry booked, an open ticket. So when I do get back, I at least can get a ferry and uh, I can at least get back down towards uh, London. And from London, Hopefully, I can get a bus on time to get back to Sheffield 
or Derbyshire where I live. Um, if not, again I'll be camping out again, uh, which is not really what I want to do. Uh, yeah, not at all. But what I will be doing later on in the week, I'm going to be seeking medical assistance. Um, unfortunately, it's needed, folks. Uh, I'm okay. I'm just a bit down, a bit heartbroken. <sighs> the days I've realised of doing long walks are over. I just don't think I'll be able to do the longer walks anymore. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to have to accept that. Uh, big life change. Right, so uh, I'm back home. Safe and healing. But uh, it's not over. Not over yet. Um, I realise now I cannot do the full length 71 and more miles in one sole trip over several days so i've come up with a plan uh, and that's basically do it in sections 10 miles per section then go back for a bus get a hotel for the night so i don't have to carry things the weight is what actually tipped it over the edge uh, plus all the travel um walking for an hour and 20 minutes before the journey, an eight hour journey down to the area. And then all that weight, no, um, it wasn't possible. So change the factors, travel light with basically just a first aid kit and uh, stay in a B&B. &B. Um, use the, the bus link that's on the island to get straight to the particular place that I want to go. Do the 10 miles and get another bus link back to the ferry or back to the place where the hotels are. Yes, it's going to take a few months to do, but I will still be doing that. And it makes that challenge completable without actually causing further harm and injury to myself. Now I am resting today, I uh, have no choice in that. I've uh, got shoulder strap burn here from the, the bag and uh, muscles in my legs, back, my neck, they're really, really painful. So I'm gonna rest as much as I can um, this week, do what I can. But yeah, I can't allow myself to be beaten, uh, can't allow my mind to be beaten. And therefore I will still do it. I have updated the Facebook page and other people have shared that. So Maddie's Nifty Creations, thank you for sharing that. Please go and check her out, like, subscribe and comment. And uh, in September I'll go and attempt another 10 miles and that will be video two so i intend to do it as a series of about eight videos and uh, maybe nine videos if i go and do a town video as well um i did see that there was quite a lot of churches old castles things like that some ancient monuments uh, and then there's lots of museums so there's plenty of scope for adventures in that area and that's what I'm going to do. So I'd like to show you that area and by doing it this way I can still do that. So I'd like to thank everybody that's already donated and to those that donate in the future I'd also like to thank you and uh, all of you have inspired me to push on, find a, a way to actually achieve this. And uh, I do believe that this is going to be the best way of doing it. Safer for me. Brings everybody the content that they want to see. And uh, 
I can spread the journey over a longer distance so I don't have to worry about um, t time frame of weather patterns things like that right thanks for watching everybody and uh, until the next adventure which hopefully should be soon I'll see you all again soon bye for now everyone